Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's D. Let's we'll react to this video by Mentally Mitch. Y'all told me to react to these coronavirus memes, um, the first part, because you said that it was actually funnier than the second part that I just put up. So we're gonna do the first part of these coronavirus memes. Um, I also came to the conclusion that I've already had the coronavirus. I'll talk about this at the end of the video, but real shit, you know, all jokes aside, I already had coronavirus, and uh, I'll tell y'all about that when the vid is over. But uh, yeah, let's hop into it. You see the title of the video? Let's just get right into it. We mean our way out of World War III, we'll mean our way out of this too. <laughs> World War III never happened though. But those memes were hilarious. Those World War III memes were jokes. Yo, this is the biggest game of cooties I've seen in my life. <laughs> Where's Tony? Trying to tag us off. Wow. <laughs> he ain't shit. Welcome to the I'm tired of hearing about this. I'm tired of this. 2020, you just pulled over and let me the f out. I won't, bro. I don't even know how to go home, man. Everybody's saying that about 2020. Ah, oh, throw 2020, 2020 away. You leave your house. Not when I do this, you can't. That's how I feel, honestly. Until somebody black catch the coronavirus, I'm gonna keep my panic on pause. <laughs> it's been several black people. <laughs> Everybody Grandma, thinks ginger ale. Well, well, black people think ginger ale cure everything. It's a fire over here, like every few days. Wow. I don't like I don't like tea like that either way. Oh Lord. That was so long ago. <laughs> oh, snap. This ain't Corona. This them Popeye's chicken sandwich is finally digested. <laughs> Jeez. It's so funny because when that happened, I was thinking that too. Like, why is there so much hype around these chicken sandwiches? Like, it's suspicious. I still ate one. <laughs> but I thought it was, I thought it was suspicious. Fresh and teeth too. I hope niggas been doing that. Ew. This is hot. Gather. Take it down, Karen. It's illegal. <laughs> Why do you gotta be Karen, huh? <laughs> we she ain't got little mad love up there. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I, with I don't have those words. exact <laughs> words, but I have love. I have hope. I knew Steve Dog was gonna come here somewhere. <laughs> Bro, chill. And he really trying to come back out like, I don't know. See that happening. Bro, help, man. Bro. You make it happen. We need you, man. Nah, me and the man don't talk no more. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm like, nah, y'all, y'all. I'm man. done. Why'd y'all give him this fucking haircut? <laughs> this gonna be y'all pilot on those cheap fights, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, this movie was. This is a good movie. <laughs> he was lit. I go where I want. I just ain't got nowhere to go. Yo, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> is that fucking Marlon Wayans, bro? I don't think Marlon Wayans ain't never been that skinny, but that look like him. He look a fucking mess. He look like a crackhead. Toilet paper is terrible. Years when the Shauna commercial comes up. <laughs> you have PTSD. I barely shook. was funnier, y'all. But, you know, different strokes for different folks. Game three Jada said that she uh, home, she realized she don't know Will at all. Nobody would do this. Appetite B C. When your baby called more than three times in a row. My volume is on like twenty percent. It's on like twenty percent. 
Okay, th that's the last one. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head out. He always do this. Like the last meme, he will laugh for like 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a head up. Oh, so let me tell you how I already had coronavirus, real shit. So back in October, it was my friend's birthday, and we went to Big Bear to celebrate. And it was like 15 of us in this cabin down there. Like we were super duper deep, and we had a really good time. Spent the weekend there. If you follow me on IG, I put it in my stories. Maybe you saw it. So. We were in Big Bear, all that, got back. When I tell you, like, 11 of us were sick when we got back. And I'm not talking about just normal sick, like coughing or, you know, slight fever or flu. No, we were fucked up. Like, I could barely move. Like, my body is aching. I am fucked up type sick. And we were just talking about it and laughing about it in the group chat. Like, what is going on, y'all? We dying. Like, what's happening? And I was literally sick for like three weeks. No exaggeration, I was sick for a very long time. This is around the time when I was gone from YouTube for a month. I was not putting up no videos. I was literally in my bed all day, I was fucked up. And I even put up a story talking about it. I'm gonna go to my story archives and this was in November and I was talking about how sick I was. So this is November 5th. Bruh, I ain't never been this sick this long in my entire life. I feel terrible. So if I don't put up videos, just know it's because I feel horrible. And don't ask me why I got this on my head either. I just want... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was really, really sick. And I was just like, what the hell? Because I've had the flu before. I've had many colds. Like, I've been sick in my life, obviously. I've never been sick that long. I was like, why the fuck is this taking so long to go away? Like, I was like getting kind of nervous towards the end, but eventually it got better. And it's so interesting because I definitely had trouble breathing sometimes. Um, I had a fever, I my head was definitely hot. Like I just felt like shit. I was literally confined to my bed for a really long time. And me and my friends were talking about this a few weeks ago. Like, oh, we already had coronavirus back in October. Like we already all had it. Like we were laughing about it, but the more, you know, time has passed and I've talked to other people, I'm really starting to believe that, like, bro, I think I might have already had it. Because I've talked to other friends and they said they were really, really sick, like, towards the end of last year or the beginning of this year. Um, I saw Hodgman's put up a video on, um, it was like a mukbang, and they mentioned that they were really sick in November as well for a really long time. And it just makes me think that, you know probably already had that shit i already probably had it and i know that they have the official you know um first case reported date but that don't mean shit it's so many broke americans with no health care um that they would have no way of knowing when the first actual case was and even in china they're saying oh the first case was documented same shit you got even more poor people there who you know don't have health care that i won't go to the doctor so you don't really know when the first case actually occurred so i feel like i already had that shit, honestly so i feel like i'm gucci i don't feel like i'll get it again i feel like i already got the antibodies in my body you know working to keep this uh virus at bay and i'm good you know <laughs> <laughs> like, I really feel like I already had this shit because I always thought that was weird. Like, ever since that happened, I was, I would periodically think back to that. Like, why the fuck was I sick that long? Like, that was weird. That was really weird. In all my years of being on this planet, I ain't never been sick for no fucking three weeks. Like, what the hell, you know? Anyway, so that's my story of having a coronavirus. <laughs> Uh, these memes were okay. Honestly, I feel like the other video was funnier, you know? I mean, I guess a lot of y'all think this one was funnier, but I think the one I reacted to last was funny, but... Whatever. Y'all let me know what y'all thought though. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!